a new mail call, and a new soap in a den. Stay tuned. Guys, welcome back to my channel, Brian the Floridian. I'm back in my other shaved den, my original shaved den, uh, for another shave. Got about two, about three days worth of growth on my face, and I did my other shave last week. I think my last video in my spare bathroom because my wife was doing a bath behind me, right over there. So there's a bathtub over there. But anyway, as you guys know, wives, girlfriends, she who must be obeyed. That's what they call that. But anyway, word of advice: follow that. Especially if you guys are married. But anyway, got this new soap in, my, in the shave den. Just, just got this in the mail uh, this past Friday. This is called Moon Soaps Old School. And this is a beef tallow based uh, shaving soap. So definitely eager to try this out. I'll be doing this for my shave. And let me, let me tell you guys, this stuff smells amazing. Definitely smells, <laughs> smells fantastic. I mean, I opened this up right away, Friday when I got this, and I just just couldn't wait to use it. So, I'll be using this for the shave. And I'm going to be doing an old school shave, so I'll be going back to some old school products I have my shave in. I'm going to be using my, my Gillette Vintage Red Tip. This is the B1, which is the first quarter, 19, I believe, 1956. So, this is, a, this is aggressive razor out of all the super speeds, a supposedly the aggressive one out of all the super speeds. But it's, I believe this is a rocket, but it's got the uh, wider handle. It's got some great knurling. I love the way I love the way this razor shaves. It's a turn to open razor. And I do have my Gillette Nasset blade loaded up in, in the razor there. So this will be the first use of the blade, which is this guy right here, which is my one of my favorite blades to use. Probably top top two favorite blades to use. This and really top three. I, I, there are so many blades out there I've been using recently that this is at the top of the list. Great, great blade. Pulse Silver as the other one and Feather. So those three are my favorite blades to use. But this is really, really great blade. And pretty cheap too. You can find these on Amazon, eBay, different, different internet sellers for pretty reasonable price. But anyway, this will be the razor I'll be using, the red tip. And I'll be using my old school C40. This is the EverReady Vintage Restore EverReady handle, which I have the Samog uh, 1305 knot, bore knot in here. So as you guys know, I had a 1305 Samog brush with the cream and green handle. It was a wooden handle and the, and the paint just basically flaked off the handle. So I just wanted to put this knot. I love the knot so much I put it in, in this vintage handle here. And very, very nice looking, very nice knot. I, I must say, this is probably the best. Besides this and the sterling bore I have, these are my top favorite bore knots in of all time I ever used. So I love this handle. I love this knot. Anyway, guys, I'm using that. Let me go and wash my face. Like I said, three days worth of growth. And I just took a shower earlier, but I'm going to wash my face and, and go ahead and also put the soap in, in my Doug Smith bowl. I'm going to take it out and do a, a bowl lather. Got my South Florida White Shaver's guitar pick, so I'm gonna scoop some, scoop some out. Soak my brush, and I'll, get, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got the uh, brush loaded up right here on, the soap loaded up on the brush here. I'm doing a little bit of bowl lathering. And as you can tell, pretty decent lather. This is a, a cold press soap, so it's not too soft. Right about, right about in the middle of, of hardness or consistency. Kind of reminds me of Sterling, actually, so. But anyway, it smells really divine. It smells really, really great. Really, really nice here in this whole bathroom. But anyway, let's go ahead and do that first face other here. This is a big knot, by the way. This is like supposed to be a 24 millimeter bore knot, but definitely feels much larger than it seems when you face the other. Yeah, so I'm not using any pre-shave today. No, no PA cube or anything. I just want to see how slick this soap is. 
see how good this soap performs. But as you can tell, nice lather, lathering so far. So I hope you guys are doing well this week. Today is Sunday. Try to get a shave in before my, my Tim Bay Buccaneers start playing football. They're playing the Chargers today, so. Oop, got a little hair just came out of my brush. Right there. Yeah, this stuff feels amazing. So I let my hair grow go go for about an extra day, so this is actually the first time I've ever had this much hair in a while and showing you guys on camera how much hair I have. I'm gonna let my shaves go for more than two days. Man, it smells amazing. This soap smells great. All right, guys, let's do that first pass with the Gillette Red Tip B1, Gillette Nesset Blade first use. So far, nice slickness. So, backstory about Moon Soaps. They've been doing this for about 10 years. They it started out as a woman, one woman operation. And her name is Melody. I believe Melody, can't remember the last name. I think it's Kent. But there are they are based out of California, off the coast of California. It's Kent, and it's actually her husband, uh, Zach. But she's been doing it for ten years. He just recently got into making soaps with her, and I believe this is the first shave soap that uh, that they made that they came out with this year, the old school. So he got into traditional wet shaving, and she was she was doing this for a while. So he wanted to make his own, get involved and make his own shave soap, and also some other shaving, other types of shaving stuff. Uh, wet wet you know shaving software. I think I I want to say they they also uh, sell aftershave bombs, which which I which which they do, and also razors and other things on their website. But anyway, they're based out of, off the coast of California. I wanna say uh, the town they're from is Car Coralitos, California. I never heard of it, but I believe it's on Monterey Bay. So it's right there, right there on the coast. But they, but they pride, well she, she and him, they pride themselves on making uh, you know, soaps and products out of exotic butters, um, organic uh, fragrance, essential oils, everything sourced locally they can find for their for their products. And they describe their ingredients, their process of as obtaining the finest uh, botanicals they can find for their products. But I think, I think this soap has a few things like mango butter, uh, shea butter, a few things besides beef tallow. But I'm not really sure. I think I think Zach Kent he provides the it's 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 uh it's it's their own rendered uh, beef tallow. I believe he provides his own beef tallow from where he works at. I want to say he's like a butcher or or, or he works at some place like that. I believe he does that because I was re reading his website, their website that they that he brings the beef tallow from his workplace, his scraps home to make the soap, the cold press soap. All right, with all that jibber jabbing, shape was pretty phenomenal. Nice slickness, nice cushion and glide. Uh, no nicks, so that's definitely a good sign. 
Anyway, that's the first pass, guys. Great, fantastic first pass. Uh, let me rinse my face, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back with my second pass, second face lather. First pass was pretty good. Really, really nice slickness in the soap. Uh, the cushion from the lather was nice. And it, I mean, just feels nice. The soap strength is probably about a, a six or seven. It's a little bit stronger than, than other soaps out there. Kind of like, I'd say probably like around the, the, the sterling range of scents, of scent strength, if I'm comparing it to another soap. But anyway, I love the label work, artwork. Their labels on their soaps are pretty cool looking. They have the old style vintage looking labels, which I like. Looks great in your shave of the day picks. <laughs> it just looks good sitting in your bathroom, this, this label. But it's a great looking label. So, A plus for uh, label and packaging. Let me go into that second face lather here. You guys hear any noise in the background? That's my daughter making some noise. <laughs> She's in there playing with uh, with this video game that's making a lot of noise next door. So yeah, plenty of lather from this brush. So definitely, this soap is great. Feels feels incredibly slick. So back to Moon soaps, they make other things like bar soaps. Before Melody made shaving soaps with Zach, she made a, a bunch of different bar soaps, uh, body creams, uh, scrubs, stuff like that on their website. And I'm sure their stuff is pretty fantastic because right now the soap I'm using feels fantastic. It just feels slick coming off the brush. All right guys, so red tip again. Let me do across the grain. So let me describe the, sh the, the, the scent of the soap. Very, very nice scent. It's got, uh, this is what they describe on their website. I wrote it down right here. But it describes as notes of tobacco, play on top of vetiver, leather, mahogany, and vanilla. And you definitely do smell the tobacco and vanilla. It smells, it just blends really nicely, it smells really good. Yeah, just a nice scent. I'm finding out that I like tobacco scents, especially with with vanilla infused into them. They feel, you know, they smell really, really nice. And musk. I don't think this one has musk, but man, this one does. This one does smell really nice. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. The slickness is really great on soap. And what's cool is when you get anything from their website, Moon Soaps, I mean, the, the, the soap itself and the aftershave bomb that I got was wrapped in tissue paper, and she had a nice little note in there to, for me, thanking me for uh, purchasing and supporting her small business, which is a nice touch, you know? I mean, that nice little handwritten note, which is really cool. But right now, I think they only have four soaps. I think they have one called Havana uh, Union, I believe, is their barbershop scent. And there's another one, I, I can't remember the name of it, but. But all of the scents on the soap sound amazing, so. All right, let me go underneath the uh, gills right here, or the snot track. <laughs> That's what Jill used to call it, the snot track from uh, She Shades with Jill. Yeah, definitely slick. So like I said, first shaving soap from them, from them that they made, from Noon Soaps. Definitely a good one to launch their shaving soap line from. Not really fancy ingredients, but man, this stuff does work. This ingredient list on this soap base does work. Great, great stuff. All right, guys, let me rinse my face, and I'll be right back for that final pass. All right, guys, I'm back for my final pass. 
Let's see how much soap I have left on the brush for my final pass here on the C40. All right, so far, looks like it's lathering really nicely. So definitely enough, maybe I do, maybe two passes, maybe we'll see. I'm doing one more pass and this will be against the grain. So I almost did a straight razor shave today. I have this new straight razor in the den that I got from a mail call, a vintage straight razor that I was gonna use, but I wanted to do this this review with this with the uh, safety razor just to see how slick it was. Cause I feel like I get better reviews. I get more of an understanding of how good a soap base is if I use a, a safety razor. Probably because I'm not really accustomed to using a uh, straight razor quite yet, totally, even though I'm practicing, which I've been using the last few days. I've been using a straight razor off and on. All right, so definitely, definitely enough lather left on the brush here. And I love this knot. This is like that 1305 Samoa. This is a great, great knot. I just wish they put this in a different handle like a acrylic acrylic handle but if you guys know any, any other knot any other brush handle they put this knot in let me know leave it leave it in the comments below because i want to get this i love this knot and if i ever got another samoa 1305 knot I, I, I would love it to hopefully be in a different handle all right guys let me go ahead and do that against the green pass i mean i have a samoa 610 but it has a different different knot. That not quite as good as a 1305 knot, but it's a little bit smaller knot too. It's not a bad knot, but I like this one a lot better. So hope you guys are having a good week so far. So football is here. Well, it's been here the last few days, but the last few weeks, but it's kind of cool to see the college football back. NFL's been playing the last few weeks, which is nice to see. Baseball is is playing right now. Their playoffs are playing. The World Series playoffs are playing right now. And my Tampa Bay Rays got past the Toronto Blue Jays in their first best of three. So I'm excited. They're playing the Yankees this tomorrow, which is Monday. And I believe it's the best of five, so keep my fingers crossed that they beat the Yankees because then it's my home team, my favorite team, the Tampa Bay Rays. And it's just phenomenal what the Rays are doing with their payroll, with their strategy, their shifting, their, their bullpen starters. It's just... They're just doing things that a lot of teams don't do or wouldn't do or haven't attempted to do in the last few years with the Kevin Cash, the manager, uh, starting, uh, you know, we had, a, we had a few pitchers that were out, starters, so he started, he started to use a bullpen as starters and put him in key situations to start the game. I think he started that last year or year before. Because we had no we have no options for uh, when we have a starting pitcher goes down, you know, you either pluck one for the minor minor league system or or you get creative like he did. It actually worked. So a lot of teams are copying that strategy, are doing the bullpen stars this year, including the Yankees and Blue Jays, and also the shifting on the field the Rays do. which is different from other teams. And a lot of teams are, start, are starting to copy that too. But you know, it's, I believe they, I believe a lot of these things that the Rays are doing were because of uh, the payroll. You know, they, they, don't, they don't have quite the, well, they have good talent, but not quite the payroll and the superstars other teams have. But it's just phenomenal watching the Rays and it's historic what's going on right now with, with them. I mean, they're playing uh, Billy Ball better than the A's did when they, when they did stuff like this back in the day with their payroll. But anyway guys, enough of that. That shave was phenomenal. 
nice, nice sleekness on the soap. Really love the soap base, really nice. It's simple soap base. I'll leave the ingredients right there on the, on the screen so you can see it, but man, it just, just great soap base, just simple, works, works great. But anyway guys, let me rinse my face and I'll be back for the post shave. All right guys, I'm back for the post shave. Uh, post shave from the soap feels, feels really nice. Feels actually pretty amazing for, uh, for, for just using the soap. But I'm gonna be using the um, old school aftershave balm that I got with the soap. And pretty cool looking label. I like the label by the way, just the cool looking image label. It's got the little pump on there, which is kind of cool looking. And the, and the bottle's glass, which is a nice touch. So let me go ahead and shake it up and get the ingredients mixed up here. So I was reading the uh, ingredient list for this and it seems like she puts a lot of nice stuff in here, like grapeseed oil, other types of stuff in here, organic stuff here. So this should be a light, I believe a light uh, shade bomb and they describe it as non-greasy. So let's, let's see. All right, so a little bit there. And it smells nice, just like the soap does. Got that nice vanilla tobacco scent. Yeah, it smells really, really nice. Get a little bit on the other side there. All right. Yeah, man, this stuff smells nice. So the whole bathroom smells like old school. It smells really, really great in here. But man, definitely light. Feels, feels nice on the skin. Not really heavy like it describes. Yeah, it does feel nice. Good post shave feel. This stuff smells great and performs good so far from what from my from, from, you know, from what I've seen. But anyway, that's the shave, guys. I use the Moon Soaps Old School, going old school shave here with my other vintage stuff. I use my you know my Gillette Red Tip B1 1956 first quarter. Great, great razor. And it took down that hair without any problems, that three of th three is worth of growth with a NASA blade. So that was a great combination with that with this blade. So definitely I really can really can't really notice if this is, is if this is any more aggressive than the regular super speed, but it did enough to take the hair down. And I have a baby bottom smooth shave. So I love this razor. Use that, I use my C40 Ever Ready Restored Brush with the uh, Samo 1305 knot. Look at that knot, it's just huge. Just a lot of decent backbone. It just splays really nicely. It's got a big splay, look at that, nice big splay. So this knot actually performs much larger than, than the 24 millimeter, which, which they claim it, it, it is the knot size, but man, it's a nice knot. So Samo, if you're listening, I hope you guys can put this knot in an acrylic handle, because that would be great, great. That would be awesome. Anyway guys, that's my shave. I hope you guys have a good week. Hope you enjoy uh, the rest of the week, the rest of the weekend, and I will see you guys later. And also, by the way, check out my last, my, la my latest video. I did a trip up to uh, Akalawaha, Florida, and saw the the place where Ma Baker and her gang, their last, you know, where they last were caught, or actually their last stand. But it was pretty interesting, cool place. Anyway, guys, have a good weekend. Have a good week. Enjoy your shaves. Take care.